from your loss, it's just a victory, baby I've done it all and seen it all, it's just a victory, baby You gotta see the silver lining, it's a victory, baby If it been a fight, no, no, If you want greatness, it takes time Yep, second house Get the land bank off your back My projects er Everything goes smoothly Economical bathroom, you know, on the budget. I took out this wall here. It was a wall here. Make an open layout, did the recess lights. You guys saw it on my page. What's going on team? It's your boy Cal. We back with another one. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty crazy. It's, um, it's loud in my house and um, I decided I said hey let me just shoot a video and um, talk to you talk to you guys about um, what it's looking like far as the cost on purchasing a Detroit land bank property and what it looks like getting it just livable or up to code or just to achieve compliance what that looks like in 2022 for. Um, and we just talking about just using local contractors. We're not talking about going with big companies. Um, I am going to be put doing a, a second part of this video, um, interviewing a local contractor and giving you guys um, um, insight from that contractor's perspective. Uh, perspective. One of the contractors that I contracted out on some of the jobs that. Uh, some of my YouTube subscribers have uh, project manage me out if you if you say um, will say that or whatever um, but I'm going to go over um, some of the um, let's see here just some of the cost on what is you know just to give you an idea of what some costs look like right um, so this is something, this is a video I want you to guys take notes because it's just straight up raw, just me talking, you know, just talking to you. So getting a land bank property, right? So majority of the land bank properties, especially owning now properties, you're going to have to um, put in uh, new windows and doors. So if you go on Home Depot, the average exterior door is going to cost anywhere between a hundred and fifty, hundred and fifty. No, actually, no, a hundred and sixty dollars and up. That's just for the door. Now, for the installation of that door, the average contractor price will be two hundred to four hundred dollars. Anything higher than that, anything higher than four hundred dollars, they trying to get you. Lowest you can get, you got some contractors that put a door in for a hundred and fifty dollars, but realistically it's between 200 and 400 dollars depending on if you need framing or not right that's just for one door the average contractor that can that will install a window that price can be between 75 and 200 dollars per window depending on the contractor right um now when it comes to this installation installation of these doors if they're not using spray foam that's a red flag you know what I'm saying? So make sure they're using a spray foam. And um, I forgot what it's called. You're supposed to put around the window. It's like a vapor barrier around so the uh, water doesn't sit on the windowsill. If you don't see those type of things, then that ain't the contractor for you, right? Um, so definitely do your research and looking up just some of the things that you're having contracted out, right? Um, so just that's just cost on windows and doors. Average house gonna ha you gonna have at least ten windows. You know what I'm saying? So you, in the average cost for a window, depending on what the size is, minimum a hundred and fifty dollars up up until three hundred something dollars. You can go to our one of the stores. Uh, Menards have affordable windows and they have a ten percent rebate or is eleven percent? If I'm not mistaken. The average size home that's like uh, okay, let's do the math. Um, for our average size home, a big home, 
I got two family flat. We can just go with a two family flat. Um, roof repair. If they have to put all new boards, like a complete tear off, and they have to put new OSB down, somewhere around like seventeen thousand dollars, somewhere around there. You can spend between fourteen to seventeen hundred dollars. That's like a two family flat, right? A regular bungalow style home, maybe a thousand square foot. You could probably pay maybe between maybe eight eight to fourteen thousand, somewhere in there. You know, if you got to be a complete tear off, it just depends on what the contractor you get, contractor you have, right? Um, also, um, let's see, that's just roof and whatever. And now if you got siding, the small, so I got a house that's about thirteen hundred square feet. Average siding job, parts and materials. You can get a whole house sided for at least seven thousand. Between, you could say at the low end, parts and materials between forty-five to about maybe seven thousand, seven thousand dollars. That's like a thirteen hundred square foot home, right? That's I'm, I'm going off of the numbers that will be quoted out. Um, you know, um, just giving you a ballpark so you just write these things down, right? A average furnace installation. Uh, individual subcontractor that that's licensed and or you're even an apprentice uh, HVAC guy um, you're looking at between um, depending on what you have in the basement if you don't have no ductwork brand new install you could spend we just, we always go with the highest thirty three thousand to thirty thirty five hundred you know what I'm saying putting in all new ductwork for a single family home right so we had one home that was three thousand dollars got all new stuff up to code <clears throat> other home extra five hundred dollars um new plumbing uh, we had a contractor charge um about eighteen hundred dollars to do all new sewer drains breaking up the floor all new sewer drains in that thirteen hundred square foot home um running new pecs could be anywhere between seventeen hundred and twenty three hundred dollars running all new pecs that's your water lines right <clears throat> electrical can be the best rule of thumb what electrical um, is eight dollars per square foot of the home so that would be that that'd be what your number is eight dollars to ten dollars a square foot so whatever your square foot is you times that between eight and ten dollars that's what you're supposed to be paying for uh, new electric throughout the whole property up to code with permits. Um, so uh, what else we got? We got plumbing, electrical, HVAC. So off rip, those and windows and doors. Now the land bank requires you to have a functioning toilet and sink. In your bathroom right so the average contractor if you would go with a budget so you can get a you can get a toilet for about $125 get a tub for about 210 um, to put together a bathroom if you buy your own materials you spend about maybe three thousand dollars you know that's finishing it putting the drywall up your kitchen can be put together cabinets if you're going with the unfinished wood cabinets, like at Lowe's, Home Depot, you can paint them whatever color you want. You know, you uh, sand them a little bit, put a couple coats on it. Um, you can get some cheap cabinets at Home Depot and Lowe's. You know, um, I always say budget at least about $2,000. At least $2,000 can get you running, get you up and running. Um, now, mind you, these numbers, you're going to have to pay these numbers for sure. Now, this is not to account. This does not count for if your house has severe water damage due to a bad roof. So you may need some framing done. Okay. So that just depends on what contractor you get. You know, uh, framing can be expensive. You know, some houses, 
the one house that you guys are just um, that I'm gonna post um, in the next couple of days, that one had fire damage. You know, so we, you know, it was a couple of joists repaired. So framing, you know, a small house, you know, depending on how, I, it's, it could be up in the air. You spend anywhere between two thousand to eight thousand dollars on some framing. You know, depending that's repairing joists, putting back up walls, taking out rotted wood. That's left up to your contractor. You know, really, you, just, you definitely have to shop around. And, um, but the other thing too, when you guys buy these land bank properties, reach out to State Farm. And mind you, this is not sponsored, but I like State Farm. Um, they have, a, you can get a builder's risk policy. Builder's risk policy protects the property and the materials so that way they give you some peace of mind if somebody just, you pouring these thousands of dollars into the property and somebody breaks in and steal your stuff so definitely a builder's risk policy it lasts for a year after that you on your own so definitely invest in that um what else i just want to just just give you just reiterate like these this cost we got I got the two properties I'm managing. One property, of course, is over budget. We probably maybe sixty grand in, and we still got to do. We still got to do trim, flooring, siding, and painting. Then we got to and including the basement, painting the floors and the dry lock of the walls, putting the deep sink in. And doing the rest of the cabinets. We already 60,000 in. It's a complete gut out to the studs. <coughs> putting everything in. Bringing it up to code. And this is just contract and work out. Now in my previous videos. I talked about getting properties done. For like $20,000. You know. Like at least about $20,000 you put in. As far as materials. That applied to people that are actually going to perform the work theirself. I started off as a do-it-yourselfer. Do it, hey, you when you look at the material cost and your your bulk of this is you paying for labor. So at this point in my life, you know, and you know contract and work out, people have to be compensated for their time, you know, so for the people that's doing it yourself, yeah have at it you can do it yourself you pay for your own materials youtube it up when it gets hard you can go ahead and contract it out but for me my land bank property i got it for a thousand dollars i put eight grand into it and i sold it for thirty five thousand and that was just materials me doing it myself right so um of course you know my dad taught me some things you know growing up in life but i had to re remember a lot of it, uh retrain myself and now hey i didn't you know um you know it's funny when i got my first uh part of my license uh my electrical license you know i keep that i keep it i keep it with me i ain't gonna of course i'm not gonna put all my stuff out there but um you know i keep this drum right with me because i'll be happy about it i was like i just look at it <laughs> um but no you know uh because I work up under a licensed electrician. So technically I'm a apprentice. Uh, but I get busy and I get to it. We put them permits. We, you know, I get busy. I get busy, you know, because at the end of the day, I looked at it like, hey, um, you guys saw me in the school, you know, and now, you know, apprentices, you know, of course I'm registered with the state of Michigan. So um, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's a good feeling, you know, you got some paperwork feel me <laughs> um and it's a blessing you know um but yeah um so yeah so those are some of the numbers i'm gonna get more in depth into it because i want you all to be prepared now also too um getting a land bank property is not for everybody you know um you know you might want to like i said before you got some of these houses, we, we're like $60,000 in. 
you can definitely find a property in Detroit for twenty and thirty thousand that's put together that just probably needs some TLC, some tender love and care. You know what I'm saying? And be able to put that together and put a couple ten thousand into it and then it's up and running. And you don't have to deal with the um land bank being on your back. It's not for everybody. But me being personally going through getting a mortgage, being told no, to just to be told yes again because that that entity didn't do what they supposed to do. Um, we ain't gonna say, we ain't we ain't gonna say quick and loans. I'm not gonna say their name. Told me I didn't qualify and I did qualify. We're not gonna say their names. But that's neither here or there, right? Um, that's all shade. <laughs> um, but. Going through that process is definitely was traumatic, right? So, um, I just want you you all to be prepared, and I'm gonna try to do my best to help you you all be prepared in this journey. I've had some YouTube subscribers say, "I'm packing my bags, I'm coming to Detroit." I say, "Hold on, hold on, we gotta have a game plan. I want you to be out on the street because you can't come live with me." Come on now, we gotta have a game plan. We gotta think this through, right? So, um, definitely have a strategy, a game plan. You definitely, you can get a land bank property. Ooh, I am tired. I do apologize. Um, you can get a land bank property, but you gotta have a game plan. And I have no problem sharing knowledge or whatever. And if you're gonna bring me on as a project manager, I came up with the type of fee that I'm going to do for that, for the people that can't afford that. Because, of course, um, you know, I got projects now or whatever, you know. And basically what that entails is me, if the invoice is, you know, I'll see that invoice all the way out. If you're following my guide, my uh, template, you know, I can help you be successful, you know. Uh, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I'm not about to sit here and sugarcoat and tell you yeah yeah you know it's not for everybody you know you can be that one off that where you bought a house and just so happened to got caught on fire or whatever you know what i'm saying you didn't you didn't follow directions you know as far as getting the builder's risk policy and somebody decide hey i wanted that house i'm gonna set it on fire you know you never know i'm gonna keep it 100 with you these other influencers may not i'm gonna keep it a thousand i'm gonna keep it a buck with you you know um you may just be the one that they decide they want to take all your windows and doors out. You know what I'm saying? But if you follow the type of steps I, I uh, the deterrence that I, you know, I tell you guys what to do, you know, that can help you be more successful. Ooh, I apologize. That's how y'all know I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in the car right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's good Friday and I'm in the car tied. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I done had me a little sip. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had me a little sip. That's the rock mango be hitting. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just had me a little sip. You know what I'm saying? But I just had, let me turn this camera on and, you know, talk to you good people. Um, But I hope that's helpful. But so um, I'm going to be putting together a. Um, that's, I don't know what I want to call it. It's either walk walk the block, but I'm going to be putting together something where if you all want to come to the De come to Detroit and meet with me, I'm going to make it affordable. I think tickets probably going to be like maybe, i probably do like $50 or something like that. Hey, you guys just get here and want to come see some of the projects I'm working on. We can go at least look at about a couple sites talk chop it up with me i don't know i gotta figure out what it is i gotta figure out how 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 this is and um i'm going to um i'm going to create a, a rsvp type thing or whatever and um figure out how i'm gonna do this uh, oh boy oh I'm, t I'm i ain't gonna lie to you i'm tired I am tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I got to get some rest. 
Um, but I want to put together something where people that y'all been rocking with me for so long, y'all want to, hey, visit the city. Let's have y'all come down here in the, in the, when, the, when it gets warm. Maybe I'll put together something in June where you all can come, chill with me, kick it with me. We can talk about building. I'm going to see if I can get the land bank to show up. Um, I got some people over there. I'm going to see if I can get them to show up to this event. And we go from there. We build. We, we, we you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to give a discount probably for, you know, for y'all subscribers. I'm going to make it real affordable. I just want, you, want everybody to come out, meet this function. And actually what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do it probably on one of my, uh, on some land I own. Maybe we just sit there and like maybe have some workshops. You have you all talk to, you know what? I'm gonna have you all talk to some contractors. Put together. I'm gonna put together something. I'm gonna put together something for you all, so we can do this. We can get to it. You guys can see how Detroit is. You know, probably set it up on a weekend or something. Y'all can fly in for the people that's out of state. And you know, if you in Detroit, you you know all my people that's in Detroit. And people that's thinking about just moving here to make this your home, you know, I, I deal with y'all a lot different. You know, I, I I literally just one guy. I just I literally gave him the whole sauce. Usually I pay for counsel, I charge for consultations and stuff like that. But a lot of times I'm gonna be honest with you. Fifty percent of y'all pay for the conversation. Other fifty, you know, I just be like, hey, what what's up? You know, let, what you need? Let me take care of you. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I just appreciate you all rocking with me. Um, little little buzz, and I, I ain't gonna lie to you. And you know, I'll be very transparent on my channel. I, I do apologize for the people that you know, but <laughs> I'm gonna be me. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I could definitely, and it's so funny. Um, I could have definitely do the whole. Go rent a Lamborghini and just be like, yeah, you know, do the whole crazy intro and all this type of stuff. Man, no, man, I was just like, man, skip that. I'm just going to be me and it is what it is. If if the Lord decide to bless me with, you know, getting monetized and all this type of stuff, you, you it's crazy. You two make a lot of money off my channel and I don't even see it yet. But you know what? The good thing is, is that we like right there. I like, I think I, like, I need like a hundred more hours and then I'll, we there, we there, baby. And once I get monetized, I'm not charging for no more consultations. Like I'm not doing no more charging for consultation. Once, once I start getting the, you know, that stuff, I'm not charged for nothing. Cause my whole goal is to be able to give you guys a hundred percent free content and youtube send me the check all you guys gotta do is watch it so like and subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and family you know what i'm saying watch my videos to the end shoot get it watch the videos give it to the kid let them watch it <laughs> just let it run through you know i um it helps my channel out and i appreciate you all this is, I mean, if you guys have been rocking with me, I retire from my nine to five. I wake up to help you people. I said you people, all you people. Black, brown, beige, green, everybody. I help everybody. And um and I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's like crazy. Like this is I got two I got I oh, got tools, electrical tools. Everything in my truck. This is what this is what's in my truck right now. Like I keep everything with me. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's and it's a blessing to help you all. And I, I'm just I'm just so happy and blessed. You know, and I love y'all. Don't talk about me, yeah. Calvin buzzing a little bit. Don't talk about me. But either way, go. I still give y'all that great content. So, um, so uh, uh what we're gonna do is. For watching the end, shoot me an email at hero squad.pm at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at um the underscore real underscore Calvin M. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh I respond to my messages on Instagram. Um 
Um, and if you're a hater, you can kick rocks. Yeah, you can kick rocks. Make sure you take your socks off and you find the biggest rock and you kick it. Yeah, so, but I appreciate y'all because the haters, y'all, you know, y'all watch it. Because if you're a real hater and you watched all the way to this thing, that's, I appreciate you. I love you. You're loyal. You're a loyal hater. Because I got some haters. I didn't even know I had some haters. And that is crazy to me. Because I ain't did nothing but try to help y'all. I could definitely put out some dang on training and and charge a thousand dollars for some training and make a ton of money but you know what i really felt like <sighs> i could put an ebook out but i'm like i can't i can't teach being detroit i can't teach that i can't show you that i can't have you guys thinking one thing and it's a, a whole different thing you know so it's like this thing is evolving. And one thing I'm not about to do is have some stuff out there and have your expectations thinking it's one thing and it's not. You know what? I'm going to get out this good car. And I'm going to have a good rest of my night. So stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to have a contractor on here. Um, I'm going to try to get each skilled trade person to do an interview or whatever. I don't know if I might have it in my living room or whatever. I might need to I might need to create a podcast area type setup. That might be it. I might need to do that. Create a whole podcast area. You know what? That's what I might have to do. Create the whole little podcast area. I could do it in my basement. I ain't been doing nothing down there. Yep. There it is. All right. You guys have a good rest of your day. Um, I am outside tonight no i'm just playing i'm born i'm going in the crib all right i love you all have a blessed day have a productive night feel free to hit me up for any more content and we go from there i love y'all oh we at 26 minutes i appreciate y'all if y'all made it here i love y'all thank you <laughs>